Late summer is a time of bounty. Berries are high in supply. Insects are numerous. Life's good for the natural world. But there's a strange smell in the air. You might notice hundreds of bright pink, highly scented flowers, attracting all manner of insects. This Himalayan balsam seems to be another contributor to this fruitful time of year. But in the UK, it's illegal to plant Himalayan balsam. But wait, why is it illegal to plant something that's so good for bees? Let's find out. First, it might be worth finding out a bit more about Himalayan balsam. Native to the Himalayas, it was introduced to the UK as a garden plant in the early 19th century, about the same time as Japanese knotweed, which we talked about in a previous episode. Described at the time as having virtues of splendid invasiveness, balsam was a cost-effective plant for the general public's own gardens. But by 1855, it had broken out of the confines of British gardens and began to spread all over the UK. The secret to its success is the rate at which it can colonise and spread. First of all, it attracts a lot of pollinating insects by producing masses of pollen over the whole of summer. Each plant can produce up to 2,500 seeds, which then drop into rivers and streams, colonising the land and riverbanks downstream. But it can even spread upstream through an explosive mechanism. Just a single drop of water can cause the seed pods to explode, propelling the seeds almost five meters. Okay, so we've established that Himalayan balsam is really good at what it does. So why is it illegal to plant? We already know that Himalayan balsam is a non-native species, but in the UK and the United States, it's categorized as an invasive species. Himalayan balsam outcompetes our native species by preventing the shorter plants from getting light and therefore completely altering the ecological balance of wetland habitats. And because of its splendid invasiveness, it can also impede the flow of water along riverbanks. But it's good for pollinating insects, right? Maybe so, but it also means that pollination of native species is greatly reduced, further impacting on native plant populations. So how is balsam controlled? It's common these days to hear about balsam bashing, where teams of volunteers go out, pull up or cut plants early in the year before it fruits. Himalayan balsam seeds can't stay dormant in the soil for long, so if a site is carefully managed, the balsam population can be dramatically reduced over a couple of years. So that was a quick guide to the invasive Himalayan balsam, but why not do your bit? There's balsam bashing happening all over the country, so why not get involved? It's good fun, good exercise, and you'll be doing your bit for conservation. It's best to tackle this invasive species as part of an official organized group, rather than becoming a balsam vigilante. We've also included an info pack in the link in the description, showing you how to identify Himalayan balsam. Catch you later.